Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rudrians for the Black and White Network. Well, I see a story like this. And something that comes to mind is something that Sleepy Joe Biden just said just yesterday. Because once again, the guy that said he was going to bring this country together because, oh my God, Trump was splitting it apart. Uh, went out and was running his mouth and said that these MAGA Republicans, of course, were uh, akin or supporting semi-fascism, et cetera, et cetera. Well, maybe Biden should, should do some inner searching on his own party because while he's worried about Trump Republicans, of which I am one, okay, I'll just keep it real, He maybe should look inside of his own party and realize what's happening with his own party. Because this is not uh, your mom and pop's Democratic Party, all right? This is a radical socialist party. And you have candidates that literally are winning primaries and saying this during their victory speech. Okay? Maybe he should call out some radical socialist in his own party, like AOC, like this person we're going to talk about here, Rashida Tlaib, Alhan Omar, some of these like this, mainly squad members, and and, or people that are tied to George Soros, right? And that list is shit, 20 deep at this point that I can probably think of anywhere from mayors to governors. To DAs, we know we've talked about it. Oh, this is Fox News, and this is crazy, but I can't say it's just uh, out and out surprising. AOC backed New York Democrat celebrates primary victory by declaring, "Quote: Socialism wins." If you're in New York, welcome to Fidel Castro's Cuba. Welcome. To Venezuela. Congratulations. I cannot believe you people are voting these kind of people in. A Democratic New York State Senate candidate backed by Representative, you got it, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, Democrat in New York, celebrated her primary election victory by declaring, quote, socialism wins, and don't worry, I've got the video. Christian Gonzalez, a tech worker who, whose campaign for New York State Senate was backed by the Democratic Socialist of America and left-wing lawmakers, including Ocasio-Cortez, made the declaration to cheering supporters on Tuesday after winning her primary election. Quote, I know we're saving the speeches for a little later, but today we really proved... That socialism wins. Gonzalez, as her supporters, cheered. Let's do it. Let's just look at this right here. I know, uh, I know we're saving the speeches for a little later, but today we really proved that socialism wins. <laughs> Look at this guy down here. He thinks he's Castro. Oh, one more time for the working man. But today we really prove that socialism wins. We are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. And we I mean until we see Okay. So that's what they got going on in New York. We are not going anywhere, and we will not stop until we see a socialist slate across this city. Don't come to Texas. We're not going to allow it. Just letting you know. Gonzalez is running on a far-left socialist platform promising she will, quote, cancel student debt, quote, free health care, aggressive action to climate, to build a green New York. Good, because rent protection, good cause rent protections that make it harder for landlords to evict tenants 
and make our neighborhoods stay working class and diverse. Wow. In other words, <laughs> mom and pop landlords, you're screwed. You won't be able to get your money from a bunch of freeloaders that don't want to work. Quote, we need to tax the rich to finally invest in public housing and build hundreds of thousands of new affordable green homes to solve the housing crisis and start building a green New York for all. You know what kills me about all this? They really don't have a true viable way to get any of this shit done. Like, as in, yeah, they want somebody else to pay for it. My God. Gonzalez, who was part of the final intern class in the Obama administration and is a former staffer to Senate Majority Leader, you got it, Chuck Schumer, is also running on the platform of, quote, queer liberation. <laughs> Twan, trans, tr twans, trans and queer right are under attack with our black and brown siblings disproportionately affected. Also, we got to bring race and the LGBTQ elemental P's into this. These attacks overwhelmingly focus on youth and schools, but they are only the beginning of a larger attack of queer identities and body autonomy. The socialist candidates queer liberation platform reads, <laughs> God, in order to achieve queer liberation, we must directly address the attacks on queer and trans rights, along with ensuring our housing, health care, an education system are intersectional and provide dignity for all. Gonzalez's Tuesday primary win makes her the latest socialist candidate to advance in a Democratic primary election. I'd be very interested to know who funded her behind the scenes. Socialist candidates have become more prominent on the left since the rise of Ocasio-Cortez. And the quote squad and are popping up in deep blue areas like New York City and Austin, Texas. In May, former Austin City Councilman Greg Caesar defeated Texas State Rep Eddie Rodriguez for the 35th District's Democratic nomination in one of several heavily watched blue primaries in the Lone Star State. C Caesar who calls himself a Democratic Socialist, is running for a seat that covers parts of both Austin and San Antonio. Democratic Rep. Lloyd Doggett previously represented the district. Doggett elected to run in the new 37th district in Texas, leaving his old seat open in a heavily Democratic area. So there's him. He's, he's even trying to look like Fidel Castro. Caesar's primary victory means he is likely to win the general election and become the next socialist to head to the Capitol in Washington. Wow. Gonzalez, a political newcomer, defeated Democratic challenger Elizabeth Crowley, who is a former Representative Joe Crowley of New York's cousin. Man, that is... That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So, uh, Joe Biden thinks we should just sit back, watch capitalism die, which is what our actual country is supposed to be about and what it's actually built on. We should just sit back, be okay, watch it die, put handcuffs on, be good with it. Nah. Nah. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, Joe. And this, this is the most concerning kind of thing. That these kind of people are continuing to advance somehow, some way. And the reason they're advancing, it's because of the, the uh, voting eligible and 20-something youth in this country that has gone to liberal universities where they have been brainwashed into believing that, quote, socialism wins. By what? Radical socialist professors. This, this is exactly why we've got to start promoting more skilled trade with our youth. And, you know, I see this. Um, I actually think, I actually think most Americans, maybe 33 years old and older, 
probably don't get down with most of this. But that more youthful generation is a massive concern when it comes to socialism. Because they think this is good and just when, in all actuality, instead of trying to change this country, pack your bags and go the hell to Venezuela. You know, go go find you a good socialist country where you have a hard time getting gas and you're paying $10 for a loaf of bread. Good luck. By the way, the leaders in those countries, they live fat and high on the hog. Yeah. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.